What's up, peeps? My name's Ian. I sell books on eBay. <laughs> Today is Friday, the 24th of November, so Black Friday. I've left it until quite a bit later in the day before uh, doing my packing video. One, because I had a wee lie in. I'm shattered, man. But uh, that's not the real reason. The real reason is that today's Black Friday, obviously, and every day this week, by the time I've been doing my packing, I've usually had, well, 20, 30, even 50 pounds in orders that have come in that morning. Um, so I thought, right, Black Friday, today's the day where you expect the sale to really kick in and things happening. So I'll leave it a wee bit later. It's quarter to 11. It's not that late in the day. It's only quarter to 11. But usually about nine o'clock I'm doing these, so it's nearly an extra couple of hours just to see how much extra sales we've generated on Black Friday with the sales out there, buy one, get one free. It's been reasonably popular, um, so let's see what has happened. And I can reveal, well actually, I'll tell you about it in a minute. First, let's get a couple of wee things packed up and done. Um, I've got a, two or three non-book orders going out today but the first one is a non-book order but it is book related so it's a box set of Agatha Christie Hercule Poirot stories uh, CDs so audiobooks a box of audiobooks there's how many is in it? there's that many in it it says recommended retail price £195 <laughs> that's funny Um but I sold it for £14.80 plus postage, so give it a quick wrap. This is to give it a bit more protection more than anything else. So there's bubble wrap in there, then a layer of card, and I think, if I can get them, I think that'll fit inside a bag as well, so that'll keep it from getting a soggy bottom anywhere. So 1.8 kilos. And this is going to CT5. There we go. One in the pile. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Next. Um, just got this the other day. The World According, According to Caleb. So from Clarkson's Farm. Which is obviously very popular on Amazon Prime. I've got a few copies of Ridley Squat. And I found that one little Caleb book. And it sold very quickly. Was it going to DE6? One of the books that I've picked up because I thought, oh, that looks like it would make a Christmas present. So I grabbed it and it weighs 700 grams. And DE6, I said it was going to. So, another one in the pile. Next, another single book. Ceremonies by T.E.D. Klein. Just let me pay for back. Uh, but it sold for £5.35 plus postage. So, anything that looks a bit fantastical or horrorish, I do grab them. Well, you just never know. So, I mean, it's a vintage book. The price on it is £2.85. Assuming that's like the 90s. I never looked. Well, I probably looked when I listed it, but I didn't look there. So, vintage paperbacks. People like them. People like them. I'll sell them to people. And this one will go on eBay bag. Bubble wrap. Bag it. Seal it. And it weighs 350. And we are going to LA10. I think that's what it says. People don't always use capital letters when they put their postcodes in, so sometimes it's a guess, but it'll still match up. It'll be L or I. You know what I'm saying? 
Next up, we have another non-book order. Again, I um, I did a pick up a couple of days ago. Not intentionally, um, but I'd get in. Thought, oh, that just one wee shop that they don't have a huge stock out, but they've quite often got some quite good books like your Lee Child, Lisa Jewel, the ones that I like to pick up. So I went in, and this lady that works there was, oh, good, it's you. You need to come through the back. We've got too much stock because they're not putting many books out because it's Christmas. You use the space for other things. Come through and just see what you want. So she dragged the boxes out. I had a wee dig. Uh, picked up. Ended up being about 150 books. So that wasn't bad. Um, in there, they sell them three for a pound. So you're not the cheapest. Well, not as cheap as what I usually like to get, but still a good price. Um, but she also had a big stack of DVDs that she was wanting shot off. And they sell the DVDs three for a pound. So, you know, that's all right. I can, I can live. I can live with that. No, I can. I'm not paying thirty p for a DVD when I can only sell them for a pound. Um, but no, what she said was, look, these are all going in the bin. If you want them, if you can do something with them, just take them. So it's like, oh, yeah, if, if you insist. Uh, so, ah, oh, got a plastic container full of DVDs. So I just took them. I wasn't really expecting there to be much in there. Usually, when that's the case, it's all like Davina McCall fitness and you know, like free with the Observer movies, things like that. Um, but got them, got them home, had a look, and there was about half a dozen old PC games, of which this was one. So I sold one of them already, and there's another one, and this one went for six quid plus postage. So that was a freebie. They were going to chuck them in the bin because I was there. They know me, they're used to me, they know I go in all the time. She just gave, us to, gave them to me for free. So that was cracking, because um, that's me made a tenner on them so far for that box of free DVDs. I've still got a whole stack to actually add into my DVD listings that I've not done yet. But 250 grand, it's going to LL55, six quid plus postage, Middle Earth, Lord of, Lord of the Rings, old PC game. And um, once I'd lifted all of that out to the car, she says, oh, do you not want the CDs as well? So, Aye, all right. So I grabbed the CDs. There's there's really nothing in them at all, to be honest. Um, but one Lee Child audiobook. So, got a couple of quid for that. And it all comes from being free and from regularly going into somewhere and buying stuff. Not, oh, I'm looking for a beer bar, I'm looking for a deal. What you got? Just going in and buying stuff consistently and being appreciative of anything that they throw your way. Uh, and they know me, they trust me they'll do me a good turn if there's something there that they weren't sure of um, as long as they're still making money I'm quite happy to do that next I'll do one more little book and then I'll tell you how the Black Friday morning has gone so far Leo Kessler Flight to the Reich uh, it's £8 that's sold for plus postage so 11 65 in total another nice week sale and I got a bundle of these from a guy I do a bit of work for. I mentioned him before, he collects books. Uh, he's clearing out. He's got a few that he knows are worth good money that he's just selling on himself because he's got collectors in his hand that he can sell them to. But he's got a whole stack that he just can't be bothered with. And a bundle of them were Leo Kessler old vintage hardcover so he just gave them to me and there's maybe eight of them in total I've sold a couple so far slow sellers but those two have sold for eight pounds each so quite happy with that but that's again that's just somebody who knows what I do them well and they treat me well 
and as a wee bonus I've got a few books out of it which have sold all right. It's been a few kind of old Agatha Christie vintage paperbacks, Peter Carey, uh, ones like that and a few of them have sold 400 grams DL3 so it's not something where I'm making huge amounts of money off it and such like he knows what they were worth and he just gave them to me to get shot off. Right, I know I said we were going to talk about the Black Friday sales once I've done that order, but I had a dozen Wilbur Smith books going out that went for a total of £23.05. But I've already boxed them up. So, five and a half kilos, 23 quid, so it'll be like six quid to post. Yeah, six pound to post it, so that's a nice wee return on that lot, uh, and that was the buy one get one free promotion. Right, before we go on to our next order, Black Friday morning sales. So I say right through this week, every morning when I've got up and I've got started, there's been like twenty quid's worth of sales, thirty quid. One day there was fifty quid, so it's been really good starts to the morning. Really, been quite excited about what it would look like this morning when I got up and did, did the same thing and I can reveal, and this is quite extraordinary, that my total sales this morning so far, so that's now nearly 11 o'clock, considering 20, 30, 50, where can it go from there? Six pounds. Don't get it. I've had Fairly decent sales throughout the week. Nothing spectacular. My monthly average still sits at £100 a day. No matter how much I list, no matter what I do in my promoted rates, anything £100 a day. Some days I've sold 60 books and made £100. Some days I've sold 12 books and made £100. Don't understand. But the last two, three days it's been a bit above that. So today, to make sure that I don't go over my £100 average. I don't know if eBay's just like decided it's not selling my stuff this morning. I really don't know, can't fathom it. Um, I am not into conspiracy theories, but it really does feel like there's some sort of limiter in cap on there. I've, in, you know, over the last month, I've increased the value of my stock, listed stock, by £5,000. I've added hundreds and hundreds of titles and it's all the same kind of stuff that sells well normally you know there's no you not know, just picking up random bits of rubbish to to bulk it up um but even with all of that the average has stayed 100 pounds a day actually slightly less than 100 pounds a day in sales which is just rubbish considering the amount of stock and listings that i've got um, if I've gone from, it was £20,000 worth of stock up to £25,000 worth of stock. So that's a significant increase, but there's been zero increase in the sales going out. This Black Friday week, let's say I've had the extra promotions running, the extra uh, discounts running, and it has generated a few more sales, but it still stops when I hit that £100 every day. And does me not. Anyway, that's been the spectacular reveal. Black Friday morning, I've gone from 50 quid yesterday to six pounds today. eBay, man, what's going on? Uh, could just be the way it is. Anyway, next up, two Richard Osmond books. One of them's a first edition, the other one isn't. So these two sold for £11.65. That's including the postage. So it's a buy one, get one free. I say that promotion has been popular, but it hasn't made me any extra money because it's all a conspiracy. For whatever reason, my daily earning cap is £100 on eBay. I cannot get beyond that. And it's been that way for months now. Months. Nothing changes that. If I increase my promoted listings, so the like, amount I give you, 
then I get a few more sales, but it still caps at £100. If I take off my promoted listings, I get fewer sales, but it still caps at £100. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about that anymore. Richard Osman, hopefully he's under two kilograms. Let's stick him in a bag and then check that. Come on, Ricky, here you go. And it's, I, I do get that Christmas, people buy books as gifts for Christmas, but they're typically looking for the new releases. So Richard Osman's got a new book out. That's the one people will be buying as Christmas presents. Um, but they'll maybe buy the older ones after that. <clears throat> but you'd still expect there to be some increase in sales based on volume listed and the lowering of the prices. Who knows? Anyway, right, next up we have a wee set of CDs. So we've got hundreds of classical CDs and I've got a few of them listed up and I keep meaning to do this one more where I've like picked out a bundle of orchestral music or a bundle of operatic music or a bundle of tenors singing or sopranos or just you know whatever it might be by label you know a bundle of EMI classics um, just a bundle of Phillips whatever it could possibly be um, they do considering the number I've got listed they actually do alright so see these I'll pay a 10 tenner. I pay 10 pence each for them. I've got somewhere where I can, a couple of places where I can get 10 for a pound. So if I see classics, classical CDs, I'll, I'll grab them and add to my buckets and buckets that I've got with the intention of always doing this. But that one went for eight quid. So that's, I think it's about nine CDs. So 90p, sold it for eight pound, uh, listed for a tenner. It's a guy who's bought it from me a few times actually. Uh, so let them have them for £8. So it's not going to be crazy profits, but make me a quid. And they're fairly easy to, to deal with and handle. Bit of bubble wrap and then a little bit of card round about them just to try and get them there without getting loads of cracked cases. Tape noise. tape noise and I'll go in a bag as well I find the, the opening of the bag always helps pop them in here Seal it up. And that's 1,200 grams. Going to TN40. So a few more going out there. Uh, when he made the offer on those, he did say that I'll give you eight quid, but there's only three of them or four of them that he wanted out of the bundle. Um, but that was on the offer message. And I can't find it. It'll be in my messages somewhere. So it's just getting the whole off. Uh, I mean, that's what it's paid for, essentially. So why the heck not? Right, next up. Um, I see, I went into that shop the other day to try and find some of these. I think I found two. And they're both in there and gone again. So another bundle of four Lee Child books. £10.15 for the four of them. Really, really running low on Lee Child at the moment. It's, they sell very well and rather quickly. And I'd be surprised if I've got like a dozen left. I'll put a sticker on that one. Let's see do that. So I think that shop I went into, everything's always stickered. 
which means that I've got to take short price tags off of a hundred odd books and invariably I'll miss a couple which is what happened there anyway, that's them sorted now so, bundle of child got me a tenner and it's heading to SL1 I think that says SL1 SL1 Keep it up Keep it down Grab a bag Good jump around No, shot again Right Pop these in here I feel really fiddly this morning. Do you ever get that? Where it's like things that are usually perfectly normal or natural just feel awkward. Yeah? Well, let's see this is going to be. Uh, 1400 grams. And what do we say? SL1. So a wee £10 sale, which as you know, I like. Into the pile. Right. Next up, this is another not bad one. Simon Scarrow, The Legion, first edition. That sold for £8 plus postage. So these are the ones where I'm heading into Tenerbean gifts. I've got a lot of first edition books listed and I don't like, oh, it's a first edition book, I want £100. It's a few quid more than just the normal. So I sell most of my far hardbacks for between four and five pounds. So. In those cases, if it's a first edition, you see, right, you can have the normal one for four quid, you can have the paperback for two or three quid. The first edition, eight pounds. Sometimes six, sometimes twelve, sometimes sixteen, just depending on the author. But, for the most part, eight quid. I'll just stick on, unless it's something old and rare and... Philip Pullman, but for the most part, that's what I do. So that's two first edition books going out today so far. The Richard Osman one that went as a buy, buy one get one free, and then that Simon Scarrow, which just went on its lonesome. Um, so yeah, eleven sixty five. That's including the postage. Going to EX seventeen. So we'll get that sealed up. And that weighs seven hundred grams. EX17 I said. Yeah, so there's Mr. Scarrow heading out the door. And into the pile. Right. Next, two little books. Richard Coles, Murder The Reverend Richard Coles, Murder Before Evensong and Salman Rushdie, Midnight's Children. Uh, picked up two copies of that the other day. One of them was signed. So that was nice. That's not the signed one. That's just the normal one that's sold. Um, the two of them went for, well, £7.50. That's including the postage. So again, buy one, get one free. Which, when it gets them moving, it gets them moving. So seven quid, making a pound or two. Well, probably about a quid off of those two. Maybe a bit more. Easy. Take it up into a bag. What does he weigh? 1000. And it's going to any 61. Right. Yeah, over there. Where are we? Right. 
five Bernard Knights going to SS7 and that sold £9.62 for the five books so that was they actually used the buy three get two free but it works out the same as buy one get one free and buying five books so a ten up for five little paperbacks Maybe three. Did it go pro? I went promoted listing, so maybe I can't do it. Bernard Knight. Not an author I really know, but when I was in buying stuff a few weeks ago, Mr. Bag, there were a dozen or so. If there's a dozen or so, I'll grab them and give them a try enough to create a listing and um, I think that's the second lot that I've sold uh, and I've actually since I picked up that first dozen I think I found about another six or eight to add to that listing so now that it exists it's got a bit of traction and I'll just keep it running to make sure that I keep hitting my 100 pounds a day that eBay allows me to sell 1200 grams SS7 yeah. Something else. Just I had videos on in the background when I was doing stuff yesterday. YouTube videos. And there was a guy on moaning about promoted listings and saying how, you know, I've turned off my promoted listings and it hasn't affected my sales, which I kind of understand because he'll have a cap the same as me probably. Um, but then he got on about it and says, yeah, I used to live every, list everything at 5% promoted listings. And I've turned it off and it's made no difference whatsoever. And, he was, and that's, it's annoying because the recommended kind of basic value for the stuff I list is 12 to 15%. And I say, well, if you're only listing at a 5% promoted listing, eBay ain't sending you nothing good. You know, the way it seems to work with promoted listings, this could be wrong. This is just how I have managed to perceive it, is that the, the more you pay eBay to promote your listings the better quality leads you will get to your items rather than just a greater number so if you uh, promote at five percent and you get 100 views promoting at ten percent will not get you 200 views it'll maybe get you 105 but it'll be better quality and that's the way it seems to work so it's like well, of course promoters listings don't work if you're going from if you're at 5% when everyone else is promoting at 10, 12, 15%. Just the mind boggles. Anyway, that's an aside. This was a bit of a curious sale. Tom Clancy, The Bear and the Dragon. I got a message yesterday, somebody who's doing a book art project and needed a book with at least 500 pages. So a thousand printed pages, but 500 as they were. So I said, well, I've got this Tom Clancy book. It's got 1,028 printed pages, so that's 514 actual pages. Uh, would that do? And they said yes. So £4.25 plus postage for a big book that they're going to do something to. So I'm kind of curious as to what it is they're going to do. Um, I had one other option, which I really didn't want to sell in case it was getting butchered, and that was uh, George Martin, the Dance with Dragons, but the two volumes in one hardcover. It's a lovely book. I don't want that to get destroyed. I really don't want to sell it. I want to keep that one. But Tom Clancy going to somebody doing a bit of an art project. And I say it would be intriguing to see what it is they actually end up doing with doing with it. Now we get it nicely wrapped up for them. It's a beast of a book. I've got a couple of copies of that as well. So it didn't seem quite so bad sending it away to get chopped up. Anyway, somebody can buy a book and do what they like with it and they've paid the normal price. Which is fine. Anyway, wrap it up. Bag it up. And hopefully it will get there. 
What's the weight on it? Tom's usually a big guy. What scales work? Where are we? 1600 for one little book. And what was the postcode? ME8. So. Mizzy's ME8. Good luck with your project. It'll be really good to see what it is you're actually doing with it. Uh, you know, you probably don't watch these videos. But if you do, when you're done with it, send us some pics or something. It would be great to share and show folk what is going on. Anyway, last order, and this is the one from this morning. It made me my six pounds. Well, actually, seven pounds sixty-five. But once the eBay fees came off it, it went down to six pound fifty or something. Two cornered golden books. So that is my Black Friday sales. Two books. Now buy one, get one free. Disappointing. Can you tell I'm disappointed with that? Getting to that point in the month where we need some money coming in. We know we'll get a couple of good sales in a week or so because it's the day they take their fees. So we all get good sales on the day they take their fees. So if we get sales good enough to pay their fees. Would have been nice if whatever is going on on the website actually allowed a wee uplift in sales. And again, even if it was based purely on the extra, you know, the twenty-five percent increase in stock that's gone up there in the last you know, just over a week, really, thirteen hundred grams. A wee 25% increase in sales would have been nice as well. And that's not going to be huge. That would have gone from 100 to 125 pounds a day. But an extra 25 quid a day, seven days a week. You know, it begins to pay the odd bill. Anyway, con is going to CH41. Like I say, that order was worth £7.65. So, in the pile. And that's us. The big Black Friday spectacular. The big Black Friday reveal. <laughs> it's been a nothing, an absolute nothing morning so far. Um, even whilst I've been doing this, there haven't been any other sales coming in. So nothing has changed. Anyway, that's all for today. Love you. See you. Bye.